If you're like me and you want to see everyone in electric cars so that we're not all sucking in toxic fumes, then this news is seriously fantastic. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. I'm coming to you from Bali. Yeah, I know, I'm normally in Melbourne, Australia. I'm over here trying to rediscover my surfing roots. I, I haven't got to surf for a long time. Since I started this channel, in fact, I haven't been surfing for the whole year. No, actually, I lie, I've been out once. I used to go every week. So I'm over here, gonna get a bit of surfing in. Tomorrow's the day. Anyway. Goldman Sachs predict that the price for the most important materials in batteries, cobalt, nickel, and lithium, will actually drop, not keep on increasing, which is absolutely amazing news. And to be honest, makes a lot of sense. The media, well, as usual, they're trying to predict doom and gloom probably not thinking all that logically about what is really going to happen. So why Goldman Sachs saying the price of batteries essentially will come down rather than go up? Well, for one, remember, they're saying the cost of materials will come down. And like I've told you, this will mean a combination of two things is going to happen, right? Energy density is increasing. It's going to dramatically increase over the next 24 months thanks to the plans of all the different battery manufacturers, those who don't keep pace with the others, what's gonna happen? They'll just lose contracts, right? If you don't keep pace with the energy density advancements, the improvements, you'll lose contracts. It's as simple as that, you have no choice other than to innovate, to improve the chemistry of your batteries. So if you include the fact that battery packs can be smaller as a result of these significant massive energy density improvements that I've talked about on this channel on numerous occasions. I'll put links in the description below if you haven't seen those videos. Combine that with the cost of battery materials going down, battery packs are gonna become significantly cheaper within a year, two, three, four, five years time. Now, obviously, yes, you're right. Battery prices have been increasing lately because well of a few reasons, one, more there's more demand for electric cars, massive demand right now. Two, the war in Ukraine, the Russia-Ukraine war. Obviously, Russia is one of the biggest suppliers of nickel in the world. But Goldman Sachs believes that price drops will happen sooner rather than later. This prediction was outlined by Goldman Sachs analyst Nicholas Snowden and Aditi Rai in a note on Sunday. Investors are fully aware that battery materials will play a crucial role in the 21st century global economy. Yet despite the exponential demand profile, we see the battery materials bull market as over. It has finished, say Goldman Sachs. Okay, I don't know if this is true, but hey, I'm all for it if it is. Now, both of these analysts from Goldman said that important battery components such as cobalt or lithium and nickel will drop in price over the next two years. While long-term prospects for battery metals are still strong due to the growing electric vehicle sector, the Goldman Sachs analysts noted that investor exuberance has led to an oversupply. Both analysts said there's been a surge in investor capital into supply investment tied to the long-term EV demand story, essentially trading a spot-driven commodity as a forward-looking equity. This has resulted in a fundamental mispricing that has in turn generated an outsized supply response well ahead of the demand trend. In other words, more mining of metals is going on now than what is actually needed. That's what they say anyway. Now the Goldman analysts predict that cobalt will drop to an average of US $59,000 per tonne in a year from now, down from US $80,000, which is where it's at now. Nickel is predicted to rise by 20% this year to $86,000 a tonne, but Goldman predicts that fundamental pressures will be driving the price of the material lower after that. Well, I mean, obviously the, the war in Ukraine can't go on forever. That's one area that will improve, of course. Lithium, on the other hand, is predicted to see a sharp correction downwards, which is great news, 
with the metal averaging less than $54,000 US per tonne this year, down from a spot price of more than $60,000 US. Goldman expects lithium to fall to an average of just over $16,000 US. They're saying lithium costs are going to come down by seven, more than 75%. I mean, that's crazy. And they're saying that that's going to happen next year. They said this phase of oversupply will ultimately sow the seeds of the batter material super cycle over the second half of this decade. After this, the demand surge will more sustainably overcome current supply growth. In other words, there'll be plenty of mining sites providing additional supply that will come on board, keeping prices at a moderate level. So as I said, two things will combine over the next five years to drive down the cost of electric vehicles. Well, in fact, three things. The first of those is mass production. As more and more EVs are produced on a massive scale, there'll be more competition. They'll have to compete harder together to get sales. This will, of course, lead to lower prices. And of course, mass producing a product means it can be produced cheaper. As Tesla has shown us all, they make a good profit on their electric cars. Two, the cost of raw materials will continue to go down. Now, there's new mines coming on board over the next 12 months producing lithium. And I'm talking EV grade lithium, which is a different product to lithium used in other products. That will help to reduce supply chain pressures. And of course, things like the war in the Ukraine ending, that will also help to reduce pressures on the price of nickel. Combine this with energy density massively improving. I'm not talking improving a little bit. I'm talking 210 watts per kilo versus the new 360 watts per kilo with lithium ternary batteries, semi-solid state. You know, those being mass produced, Lithium ternary batteries will have to improve their game massively. They have no choice, which means that it's going to happen. It's just impossible for them not to. Why do I say that? Well, they either go extinct or they improve because what are they going to do? If LFP batteries by the end of this year are producing on average 230 watts per kilo and ternary are 210 right now on average, well, they have no choice. All of this leads to one thing for you, for me, for everyone, cheaper vehicle prices, cheaper electric cars, the future is looking amazing. There's going to be so many new electric car models out within the next 12 months. It will actually come down. There's no other choice. Why? Chinese EVs will flood the market. They are starting to flood the market already. This will force mainstream automotive manufacturers to reduce their prices. In the end, more competition means good things for you and for me. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or you disagree. And have a great day. Bye-bye.